Welcome everyone to another episode of Farts TV. And today we're going to review this newly launched Android TV by Prism Plus. As we can see, it's a 75 inch Android TV. Uh, if you do not know who is Prism Plus, basically they are the first Android TV brand in Singapore. We're going to get the guys to help us to unbox, install and mount it on the wall for us. Welcome back everyone. Thank you very much to Prism Plus Stuff for helping us to unbox, install and mount a TV onto the wall for us. Right now, we're going to look into the spec of this particular model which is the Q75 Android TV. It supports 4K Ultra HD and is on the IPS screen. So what on earth is IPS screen? IPS screen is basically is brighter than OLED TV. Uh, OLED TV, which is many people say is very good in the very give you the true black. Then what about the IPS? IPS is very very suitable uh, in the bright area. It of course give you the very nice black too. So uh, the measurement of this IPS panel will be 170 in cm for length and then in uh, 96 in height. So uh, of course it also comes with this ability for the MEMC smooth motion. What does that mean? Uh, basically it helps you to uh, boost up the frame rate for those uh, you're watching on uh, your, your visual that's on a lower frame rate. It gives you an artificial additional frame rate to make the whole vision smoother which means you'll be enjoying better, that you won't see any jerky things on the television. Uh, it also comes with a Dolby Audio, Dolby Visual, and previous model, if I'm not wrong, I actually did question them, does it come with DTS, which is the digital sound output? For this model, it comes with it. And last but not least, definitely it comes with HDMI. We did a quick test if the Android TV lives up to its 4K resolution as well as the MEMC capability. It did turn out bright and vibrant, very much comparable to other brands out there. Also, the IPS panel lives up to its expectations too. It gives consistent picture quality at any angles. What we also like is the slick design of the TV. The slim bezel design really maximizes the screen and makes it look like a frameless TV. Overall, the TV does look premium and well built. The TV has included different preset picture modes and sound modes for your liking, as well as user modes. We also check out the TV input source. It supports digital TV, AV input, and three HDMI inputs. The TV remote also comes with a quick access for the preset apps, such as Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, and Google Play Store. As we access the TV apps, it has already installed some common apps for you. Most importantly, it is very easy to navigate around using the remote control. But we realize one critical thing, is that the TV does not have a built-in control panel. In another word, you really need to take good care of your remote control. We also did a quick test on how well the mirror cast works. It took a bit of time to link up, it also depends on your Wi-Fi signal. But after that, it did its job well. At the end of the day, is it worth to get this Q75 Android TV from Prism Plus? Well, uh, even though we know it might not be the best among all the giant brands out there, but where can you find a 75 inch Android TV at approximate of 1006 Singapore dollars? It comes with three year on warranty, which is on site, which is coming to your house to service it, and then it comes with free shipping and free installation. And for us, we actually pay extra a little bit more for the wall mount. If you would like to have the wall mount for you, you can go to their website to find out more information on it. Um, so to answer the question, yes, we feel that it is definitely worth every, every single cent that we spend on this 75-inch Android TV. 
So till our next episode of Farts TV, I'm Jason signing off.